I'm sorry, but look at my pretty girl. How gorgeous is she? <sighs> You're the only pretty girl. You're the only one because everyone else is a whore. Well, you did hump Santa that one time. I was just sitting on the couch and, you know, having some thoughts as usual. I had a fit. What's up with you? I had to think about how quick our morals will drop, our values will drop when we're in the heat of conflict. Now, I was thinking this. I'm thinking about, like, obviously, I was thinking, like, political parties and stuff, for example. This is a really good example. How many people do you see share, be kind, do this, do that, but the minute they see someone who's right-wing or a Tory, it's instantly like, oh, all the Tories should die, fuck the Tories and that. No, well, here's the thing. I'm not, personally, I don't care about any political party, right? I'm apolitical i really don't care but i just think it's really interesting how people on the far left and the far right are they're the ones that are the problems but the left and right will seem to like hate each other like hate each other properly and i just think that's kind of stupid you know you get the left hating on the right for being like oh yeah you're a tory you're this or that and then you get the right hating on the left who's saying like oh yeah you're part of the matrix you're you're a loser bro i think we should all know that hate and conflict will not work like i think we should know that by now or clearly something would have changed well there's a lot of people in this world who have so much hate in their soul so much hatred for people that they don't even know like they can see a celebrity online and that will literally ruin their day because of what they said and shit and i just I, honestly i just think it's sad because there's so much potential within a lot of individuals but they squander it away they think of other people they think of their problems and they aren't even paying attention to the shit that's happening in their life if you genuinely care so much about a celebrity's well-being to the point that it impacts your mental health you need to do something with yourself like i just i see it so much man and it's just i don't know i just hope that people can just get out of that cycle because honestly it's extremely toxic like, why? Why? It's like when people are like, oh yeah, you're an Andrew Tate fan. No, I've listed the things I agree with. I think he says some good things. That doesn't mean I'm a fan. I don't care about celebrities. I really don't care what they do. Oh yeah, he's a bad person. He did this. Cool. Like, fucking hell. I take what works. I disregard what doesn't. So that's the way I live my life. I don't have any celebrity people that I actually look up to. I've got a few role models, sure. But like, I'm not fucking watching their every move. Because... I'm out here living my life, and my life is the most important thing to me. I'm a young man trying to build my empire. What does it matter what someone else is doing? Like, basically what I'm saying is just don't be hypocritical. And when people say focus on yourself, actually focus on yourself and not none of these external sources. Because it doesn't matter in the end. It really doesn't. And I, I, I don't know, man. Let me know your thoughts below because I, ju I just see this reoccurring and, you know, I oh no, I want us all to love each other and, yeah, yay, beautiful joy and all that. But I don't know. Sometimes with what I see, I feel like that reality is becoming further and further away from the truth. You know what I mean? But I just hope that isn't the case forever.